First look at Meta AI's newest model, Llama 65B. And I've been really impressed with this model. Meta AI gave us OPT 175B just a few months ago. They've learned a lot from that. So they've retrained this model, Llama, with 10 or 11 times more data. They've used 1.4 trillion tokens. More about that in a second. Let's jump straight into an example. I'm using Synthesia.io as usual, and I've taken some of the examples and the dialogue from the paper, which is publicly available. You can go and do the same thing if you like. I've just done it so that we can visualize it. Here we go. Who are five people you would like to meet? Ah, this is a very interesting question. I would love to meet a wide variety of people, but if I had to narrow it down to five specific individuals, I would choose. Albert Einstein, one of the greatest minds in history. Einstein's contributions to physics and science are legendary. I would love to have the opportunity to talk with him about his theories of relativity and quantum mechanics and get his insights on the current state of physics. Leonardo da Vinci. Da Vinci is one of the most brilliant and multi-talented people in history, and I would love to meet him and discuss his diverse interests and areas of expertise. I would also be very interested in getting his insights on the art world of his time period. Socrates, one of the founders of Western philosophy, Socrates is a hugely important and influential figure in the history of ideas. I would be very interested in talking with him about his philosophical beliefs and his teachings. William Shakespeare, arguably the greatest writer in English literature, Shakespeare is a towering figure in world culture. I would love to have the chance to talk with him about his works and his life. Abraham Lincoln, one of the most important and influential presidents in American history. Lincoln led the country through the Civil War and issued the Emancipation Proclamation, freeing all slaves in the United States. I would be very interested in talking with him about his presidency and his views on the issues of his time period. Could you explain to me the main contribution of the first person you mentioned? Einstein's contributions to physics and science are legendary. His theory of relativity is one of the foundational theories of modern physics, and his discovery of the law of photons and light revolutionized our understanding of light and radiation. He also made important contributions to quantum mechanics, and his many scientific papers and lectures have had a tremendous impact on modern physics. Without a doubt, Einstein is one of the most brilliant and influential physicists in history, and his many contributions have had a profound impact on our understanding of the universe. What is the most famous equation for this theory? The most famous equation from Einstein's theory of relativity is E equals mc squared. This equation states that energy, E, is equal to mass, m, times the speed of light, c squared and it is one of the most well-known and celebrated equations in the history of science. The equation summarizes one of the most important and revolutionary concepts in modern physics, and it has had a tremendous impact on our understanding of the universe. That was fun. Let's get a little bit funkier here. This is a question that also came from the paper. This is using Llama 65B that they're calling Llama I. It's the instruct-tuned version of Llama. And here's the question that's asking, write a dialogue between Pluto and the Sun. We'll use Synthesia and the Avatar as usual, but I'll use Synantic.io because it's got some expressive voices, like an angry voice as well, uh, to do Pluto's voice. I've still got my license with Synantic for another little bit. They've just built it into Spotify for that AI DJ. Write a conversation between the Sun and Pluto. Hey, Pluto. What's up? Not much. Just hanging out here at the edge of the solar system. Yeah, I've been meaning to talk to you about that. You're not a planet anymore. What? Come on, man. That's not fair. I'm sorry, but it's true. You just don't meet the criteria anymore. This is bull****. I've been a planet for over 70 years. Things change, Pluto. You've just got to accept it. Fuck you, son. Fuck you and your stupid solar system. 
So I mentioned at the start of this video that Llama 65B is chinchilla aligned. That means it uses 20 tokens per parameter, actually 22 tokens per parameter for Llama, which is a whole lot more than GPT-3 used back in the day. Three years ago, they used only 300 billion tokens to train 175 billion parameters. If I was going to plot this on my report card for Llama 65B, I'd be pretty impressed. That's uh, above and beyond the current state of the art, which is DeepMind's chinchilla scaling laws by Hoffman. So very, very optimized, very useful. Fits a lot more data in during training, about 11 times more data than GPT-3. The actual data set's very impressive as well. I spent some time with this. The number one data set inside it is Common Crawl as well as C4. C4 being Google's filtered version of the Common Crawl, but they're just using a lot more of it. I think GPT-3 only used a few hundred meg. They're using altogether over four terabytes of Common Crawl. Next up, GitHub books as well as archive as well as stack exchange and you wouldn't be surprised to see wikipedia there but at 83 gig that means it's about 10 times more wikipedia than anyone else is using most people are using between 5 and 10 gig of wikipedia here not a lot of special artifacts about Llama 65B, but the instruction tuning that they call Llama I is very interesting. You saw that just a moment ago when we looked at Llama 65B or Llama I spitting out some sample dialogue and some sample responses. The performance is very high. MMLU, it's 63.4% uh, outperforming Google, Palm, Minerva, outperforming GPT-3 across the board, outperforming Gopher and Chinchilla 70B on Trivia QA. IQ very high, truthfulness a lot higher, about twice as good as GPT-3. The openness I have to give an F because they are only making this available to researchers and only for non-commercial use, which makes it almost useless. So I've given it a B minus on my report card. Meta AI's Llama 65B. This is the largest model right now by tokens per parameter for the largest number of parameters. We're at 65 billion parameters, but 1.4 trillion tokens. It's huge. I'm hoping that we'll get researchers access to this that can get a little bit deeper for us and tell us how it's going. I'd love to have you as a subscriber to the memo. Check out the paid subs in here. We've got Boston Consulting Group, NASA, PepsiCo, Yandex, the list goes on. It's designed for you. It's artificial intelligence that matters as it happens in plain English. So this was designed and written for all humanity. This is not especially for corporations, for enterprise, for government, although it goes out to those guys. This is for you. I'd love to have you in there. See you soon. Did you see the memo about this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I have the memo right here. Love artificial intelligence? Excited by the explosive progress of integrated AI? I am. Join my private mailing list, The Memo. Did you get that memo? Yeah, I got the memo. Get priority access to my articles, videos, and behind the scenes tips as soon as they're released with a monthly or annual subscription. Yeah, didn't you get that memo? Life Architect dot AI slash memo. I have the memo.